Good morning, I'm Len Calabrese. When Tori Otsop and the Stewardship Committee asked me to say a few words about allegiance, I have to admit I took pause. I don't think of myself as a person of exceptionally deep faith. I have questions, I have uncertainties, I have doubts. Do I have any business doing this? Oh, you'll be great, Tori said. You have warmth. Warmth. I Googled warmth. It said, not so hot. Oh, no, 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 Tori said. You're a model parishioner here at Hickory Neck. I Googled model. It said a miniature representation of the real thing. Hmm. But then, about a month before I was scheduled to speak, Mother Jennifer was preparing her sermon for a service that included the baptism of Quentin Walensky, the son of Tyler and Ed. As she prepared for it, she realized she would be reading John's Gospel about Doubting Thomas. Doubting Thomas, she recalled asking herself, at a baptism? Really? Now, I believe that a good sermon is one where each of us hears what we want to hear, what we need to hear. And Jennifer gives very good sermons. So on that morning as she spoke, Here's what I heard. Maybe doubts aren't so bad. Maybe we're giving Thomas kind of a bad rap here. Maybe he wasn't the only one who had doubts. He's just the one who admitted it. And maybe confronting our doubts can actually help strengthen our faith. Thanks, Jennifer. You helped me duck a bullet there. So I have doubts. But I can tell you what I don't have doubts about. I don't have doubts about this little church on the hill or about the people in it. I've been going to church for decades, but it's been just the church I go to, going through the motions, maybe even just an obligation. I've had little involvement through those decades and it's, it's more like just being there. But Hickory Neck isn't the church I go to. It's my church. I tell people about it. I enjoy it. I love the people in it. They're my family, my friends. I'm involved here. We pray together, we laugh together, Maybe shed a few tears together, and boy, do we eat together. Now, you all know the folks that give their all here. You see them every week. Those in the vestry, on the altar, in the choir. Those that feed us. Those who make sure that folks who can't be at the church can still hear the word of God. Those who maintain the buildings and the campus. Those who care for those in the community that are in need. Those who feed the children. As I continue to work to emulate them, give my talent, my time, my treasures, because I love it here. I don't yet do all I can, but I'm working on it because I love this place, because this is my church. It's my allegiance, it's my stewardship. And you may know that we're in a deficit budget right now. So a little more treasure from those of us who can, can certainly help take care of that. But so can giving more of our time, more of our talent to make Hickory Neck not only stronger, 
but become more vibrant, more welcoming, more our church. Amen.